Okay, so here is our Ubuntu. It's 16.04.6 LTS version. And we're going to start with the installation. So just run this shortcut. Choose the language that you're going to use. So in my case, it's English. So um, in this case, you are asked to download the updates while installing the Ubuntu. So if you don't have a good connection, don't check this box. You can install the third-party software, but do not check this one if you don't have a good connection. It's easy to update it afterwards. So now it says that we have the mounted partitions, so uh, our Windows is here on dev slash sda. So in this case they ask if you want to unmount them and make the, the changes to this disk and yes we need it. So from here we need to choose uh, whether we want to install Ubuntu alongside Windows so it's going to be a double boot or dual boot or we want to erase the disk. Uh, since you are uh, the first time user uh, you will probably need to install Ubuntu alongside your Windows. There is also um, another option so you can create and resize the partitions yourself if you choose uh, the install Ubuntu alongside, it will create all the needed partitions. So install Ubuntu alongside Windows. From here they ask if we can allocate 175 gigabytes for Ubuntu installation. And you can actually drag and increase or decrease the partitions. In general it's uh, more than enough to allocate uh, 30 gigabytes. I'm going to do it 100 because I might want to use Ubuntu. So just press install. So in this case they ask if you want to continue so with the resizing and you press continue. You won't lose anything from your Windows files, etc. So you don't have to be cautious about that. So in this case they say that they are going to create two more partitions. In the first case it's uh, ext4 and swap. Uh, ext4 is going to be your main partition with, uh, with all the system and home directory on it and swap is needed for easy maintenance of sleeping of the computer etc so now you choose the time zone and choose the keyboard layout and from here uh, let's call it ubuntu My username is going to be Ubuntu and you. So choose the password. Uh, you will probably need it. It doesn't have to be super strong. And if you want to encrypt your files, you can choose this one. I'm not going to choose it. So now we need to wait until the end of the installation. Well, it's installing, it actually explains what to expect from your Ubuntu and you can go and read everything. So we will have plenty of time to do that. Okay, so it's almost the end of the installation. So now it says that you can continue testing Ubuntu or straight restart it. So for now I'm going to say that I'm continuing. Okay, I'm starting 
the machine again. So here is what you see when you restart the machine. So Windows 7 option and Ubuntu option. So we are just going to start Ubuntu.